Hi. Living in that was always a sad joke. A slogan a lot of voting punters went for it and still cling on to the hope that Johnson and the Tories will somehow deliver a vague, a vague abstraction that no one can fathom. Reality is proving the opposite of levelling up. Take, for example, the fallout from the cladding scandal. Hundreds of thousands of mostly young professional middle class bought into the conservative dream of the home-owning democracy. All it entails, psychologically, socially, economically. As millions of working class whole families live in deteriorating circumstances, homelessness subjected to rack man style landlords trapped in unsafe social housing like Grenville, these Tory voting individuals never gave the submerged third a single thought, apart from fearing them. But now there's a distinct possibility many of their ilk will be plunged into this submerged morass, ruined, bankrupted by this cladding disaster, trapped in worthless flats with no government or developer bailout. Many still haven't fully grasped that they've been completely shafted by the system they support. And listening to their responses, facing a real possibility of homelessness being abandoned, the main response seems to be a belief the ballot box will help solve their problems. They've certainly got a long way to go before they learn the bitter truth. But so have we at the base. Our remarkable silence and stoic endurance of what we've been subjected to in this age of austerity, financial cuts, low wages, leading to food banks, homelessness, all the social and personal costs is frankly mind-blowing. If and when we finally take to the streets and some of these disenfranchised middle-class elements with no way out join in, it will be part of an evolving mutual educational process. But until such time, we have no sympathy with them as we struggle to survive ourselves. We have to consider our own class interests and in finally combating and tearing down the system. Bye.